Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel, and I'm now answering question number two from the Mechanics M1 International A Level at Excel, January 2021 paper. And this question here is about momentum and impulse. We have two particles, uh, P and Q have masses M and 2M respectively. The particles are moving towards each other in opposite directions along the same straight line on a smooth horizontal plane. The particles collide directly. Immediately before the collision, the speed of P is 3U and the speed of Q is 2U. The magnitude of the impulse exerted on Q by P in the collision is 5MU. Find first the speed of P immediately after the, after the collision. So let's make a little diagram first. We've got particle P and Q, two particles, P and Q. They're going towards each other on a straight line. So I'm just going to draw particle P here. And I'm going to draw particle Q here. So this is P and this is Q. Okay, um, the mass of P is 2M and the mass of Q is M. They're moving towards each other. So I'm going to I'm going to here talk about what's happening before the collision. And underneath, I'm going to write what happened after the collision. Okay, so before the collision, um, it says the speed of P is 3U. So it's 3U going in this direction here. And Q is its speed is 2u, obviously going towards each other, so this is 2u going in this direction there. Okay, um, after the collision, we don't know. This is the, vo the velocity of p after the collision, we don't know what it is, and this is the velocity of q after the collision, we don't know what it is. But we know the magnitude of the impulse exerted on q by p, on q by p is 5mu. So the impulse exerted on Q by P when it hit it is going to be in this direction and it's going to be 5 mu in magnitude. And what we should realize from this also is that the impulse exerted on P will be equal and opposite to the impulse uh, uh, exerted on Q. So what P exerts on Q will be an impulse of equal magnitude but in the opposite direction to the impulse that Q exerts on P. So this will also be 5 mu but in that direction and that's the key to understanding this question. Now you have to decide which which direction you want to take as positive. It's very important to have the direction uh, and your signs sorted out here. So I'm going to take the right as positive. Okay, you don't have to but I'm going to take the right as positive. I want to state that over there. And now when you do the calculations you have to be very very clear about what you're doing. So if I take the right as positive, okay, I want to find the speed of P immediately after the collision. So I'm going to think about the magnitude of the impulse that is exerted on P by Q. It's 5 mu and its direction is in the negative direction, okay, because we've taken the right as positive and we've drawn P moving to the right and the impulse exerted on P by Q is going to be negative. So the impulse exerted 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 sorry about that exerted on p by q is going to be equal to minus 5 mu according to our diagram all right and we know that the impulse is equal to the change in momentum of an object Okay, so we know that the mass of P is 2M. We know the final velocity of P is what we have to find. And we know the initial velocity of P is in the positive direction 3U. So if I use this in the equation, I know also the impulse exerted on P uh, by Q is minus 5MU. So if I stick this all in my equation, I'll get my answer. Minus 5MU equals m, the mass, which is 2m, times the final velocity, which I'm trying to find, minus the initial velocity, which is 3u, and that should give me my answer. So, first of all, the m's will cancel out. This is a factor of both sides. So, we've got minus 5u is equal to 2 times vp minus 6u. So, I can say minus 5u 
plus 6u equals 2vp. So you got 6, you got 1u equals 2vp. So therefore you can say that the velocity of p is equal to a half u. So it's asking you to find, the question says, the speed of p immediately after the collision. So they don't ask us about the direction. So we can say the speed okay, is equal to a half u. Okay, if they asked us for the direction, then we would have given the direction as in the same direction that it was moving before the collision. So it's going to continue going in that direction, but its speed has been reduced to a half u. Okay, then it says the speed of q immediately after the collision. Oh, by the way, yeah, as I was going to say, but we don't mention the, di the direction because they didn't ask us for the velocity, they asked us for the speed, which is the magnitude of the velocity, so we don't mention the direction. Now, for B, it says the speed of Q immediately after the collision. Well, we can do the same thing. We can do two things here. Now we know that the speed of P after the collision is a half U. I could use the conservation of a momentum. I could say the momentum before, which would be 3 times 3U times M plus M times minus 2U is equal to 2M times a half U plus m times vq, and vq would be the only unknown, I could use that. Or I can use the same method that I just used now with the impulse, and that's probably an easier way to do it. So I can say here, again, the impulse is equal to the mass times the change in velocity. Okay, that's the, that's the uh, um, momentum, the change in momentum. Okay, and we got mq this time. Well, mq is m, the mass of q is m. v of q we have to find uq now the 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 direction of q is 2u to the negative so i'm going to put here uq is minus 2u okay because it's negative according to what we've called our direction and the impulse that's exerted on q is this time acting in the direction opposite to which q is moving because that's how it's been hit so the impulse exerted on q is positive 5 mu this time so this is 5 mu so now we can put everything in here. You have 5 mu equals a mass, which is m times vq, which I have to find, minus u, which is minus 2u. So be very careful about the minus sign here. So you have the m's will cancel. You've got 5u equals, you're going to have vq plus 2u. So the velocity of q is going to be 5u minus 2u. So that's going to be 3u. So we can say that the speed of Q after the collision is equal to 3U. Okay, 3U. Uh, and there's the answer to this question. Okay, we don't write meters per second or anything because there's no units given. All right, and I'm going to show you how we get the same answer once we know what this is a half U. I'll just show you up here just to make it clear but I think this impulse is a much easier way of doing it once we uh, you know if we know the impulse we can use the fact that the momentum change is equal to the impulse so here what we can do is we can say let's say the momentum before the total momentum before the collision is equal to the total momentum after the collision the conservation of momentum so I can say that 2m times 3u plus m times now very careful about the direction this is going in the opposite direction so it's minus 2u because this, we're taking the right as positive in this question. Equals, after the collision, I know that um, I've got 2m times, and this is still positive, a half u, plus m times vq. Okay, and we have to find vq. So this is going to give me, uh, first of all, all the m's will cancel out, because the m is a factor of everything. I'm going to have 6u minus uh, 2u, which is 4u, equals, and that's going to be 2 times a half u, which is u, plus vq so therefore we say vq is equal to what's happened to my pen vq is equal to 4u minus u so vq is equal to 3u okay and it's going to go in this direction obviously it's positive 3u and that's exactly what we found 3u positive 3u so we can see here that if they asked us for the direction we would say that the, 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 the velocity of Q is 3U and its direction has been reversed. Whereas the velocity of P is a half U and it's going in the same direction as before the collision. Just the speed has reduced so that 
you can see that one is, you know, they've hit each other, and the one that was going this way is going backwards, and this one just carries on but slower. Okay, but they didn't ask us for the direction, so we don't have to write that in this question. But if they do, we don't say, uh, you know, after the collision, P moves to the right, because who told you to write P, to draw P going towards the right? You could have drawn P going towards the left in the beginning. So you don't mention left or right. You mention P is moving in the same direction as it was before, and Q is moving in direction such that it's, it's uh, is moving after the collision such that its direction has been reversed. Okay, but in this question, you don't have to worry about that because it's just asking for the speed and not the direction. I'm just mentioning that just for your information in case you get questions like that. And there we have the answer to this question. As I said, I would have just stuck with the impulse method, but I wanted to show you that it also works if you use the conservation of momentum. Um, you know, if we have been given the impulse, that, that makes life a bit easier, I think. But anyway, that's the end of this question. If you'd like to see other questions from this paper, the playlist should appear somewhere over here. And you'll see a playlist over here to do with impulse and momentum questions. I collect them all together in this playlist. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the icon over here and on the top of the page. I'll have a link to another paper that you might be interested in watching. Thank you for watching and see you soon.